here. So if we look at assignment three, and I have videos that basically walk you through the process, but let's look at the assignment here. So assignment three is basically taking that mood board and designing this banner ad campaign for one of the mood boards. And you pick which mood board you want. And then based on picking that mood board, I want you to create four banner ads. And here are the sizes, 600 by 600, 1800 by 400, 300 by 900, 740 by 200. So you got four banners. And I want you to feature these banners on a web page. So you're going to create the web page as well. And this is what the wireframe looks like. So 600 by 600. Um, I don't remember all the sizes, but here they're, they are in order. And if you see this, I have an H1 tag, an H2 tag, and a P tag. And the H1 tag is the name that you're going to come up with that came to mind when you were creating your mood board. Now I came up with a name for my mood board and here was the mood board that I created. I go back here. Uh, sorry, Joseph, for the, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, for the discussion, we only have to upload one mood board, right? Yes, just pick one. Okay, thank you. Yes, you pick one, whatever one you like, um, and just see what response you get. Okay, thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Um, so here's my mood board and I came up with a company name for this and I called it Timeless Cosplay. And it's a cos cosplay company, you know, maybe we create cosplay outfits for you when you go to Comic-Con, especially if you're interested in Greek theater or apocalyptic scenarios like Mad Max. And based on this mood board now, I had to come up with four different banners. All right. Okay, do you see what I have here? Um, so I have my mood board right here, and I have a banner ad that I created based off of this mood board. And then I have a font, which I picked a font here in Photoshop that matched the font that I had here in my mood board. So this banner right here, if you look at my wireframe, this is where it goes. So the wireframe is basically just using your boilerplate. So this is basically just taking the code from last week and then adding the four images that you're going to create as banners using your mood board as inspiration. Did I explain that in really simple terms? You see my screen, right? You don't see my face right now, do you? Yeah, we see your screen. So we put the image into the banner. And yeah, you're going to create four banners based on the sizes that I'm specifying here in the assignment. So basically, you're taking that mood board and you're trying to get four banners out of the mood board. And I kind of pick sizes that are kind of common sizes that you find throughout the world of the web right now, like a, a square, a perfect square is your Instagram, and then a wider banner that goes across. Sometimes we call that like a hero banner. Um, a tall banner that is taller than is wide, they call those skyscraper. Uh, so in, in advertising, sometimes if you work at a design agency for a web development company, and the focus is advertising, your job might be designing banners. And you know, the banners you see when you go to a new site and all the ads pop up, some of them are pretty sophisticated, right? Um, have you experienced an exciting banner lately on the web? Anybody? I have. I have ad block. <laughs> Unfortunately, you probably use yes. If you use Adblock, you know this is going to be the uh, one thing where this assignment has no purpose in the world of ad blocking. Um, one, I'll show you what I 
I've been, I go to all the different news sites because I try to get like conservative and liberal perspectives and try to evaluate. So I've been going to USA Today lately. So how many of you ever go to USA Today? <laughs> Probably, I assume nobody, right? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> but when you go to USA Today, um, and it's not doing it, why is it not doing it? They usually have this crazy banner ad that pops up and it's huge. And now it's not there. But you can see here, you know, here's like a nice banner ad right here. Um, all sorts of ads all over the place. But they do have this crazy one, it's huge and it like blocks the whole screen when you first go into um, USA Today. Uh, here's one for medical marijuana on a USA Today banner, which is pretty fascinating um, in these modern times. So um, anyways, so back to, let me just get back to the assignment real quick. I was hoping to find an interesting banner ad. So back. Uh, so anyways. Clarify, sorry. Um, so for the banner, is this the same banner in different sizes or is it different banners? So you can, you can do, you can try to do the same banner in different sizes, but this is kind of the challenge of the assignment because you'll find what works for 600 by 600. It's probably not going to work for 300 by 900. Yes. <laughs> so that is, that is um, a common challenge for people creating banners. I can tell you, I used to work at a company called Deadline um, and their clients were Disney and Monday Night Football and they were a web development company and they would have to make banner ads. But when you would create banner ads, the banner ads would go into all these different websites and they would call for like 20 different sizes. So you would have to cram like a whole 1920 by 1080 image into a 600 by 600 banner. And you would have to figure out how to do that. So that's kind of part of it. You don't have to get that elaborate with these banners though. The most important thing I want you to get out of this though is how to um, basically create your images and then the process of bringing those images into a proper directory structure and just knowing how to save the images the right way and then get into the habit of just knowing what file format to use, size of the image. So when it comes to the creative part, if you want to, you can make each one different. Um, you, know, you don't have to totally abide by having each one follow a unified look and feel. So sometimes students will take different sections of the mood board and use those for the banners. So it's not, I'm not looking for like these um, perfect, amazing web banners. I'm kind of looking for the idea that you can successfully um, gather your images and create the right structure for the images for the web page. So that's kind of the most important part. Can we and, use the same uh, company name for each banner? Yeah, I do want you to use the same company name. So kind of think of the, this as a campaign. And so my campaign was for a company called Timeless Cosplay. Um, so that would be the title that would go inside your H1 tag. Uh, down here, you'd have your H1 tag and then and then name each one of your banners with an H2 tag. And just, just give a brief description of the banner using a P tag. So when you name your banners, this is really important. It's kind of like what I just said with the spacing. You want to have this format where any space is going to be represented with an underscore. So instead of using a space, use an underscore. So there should be no spaces in your names. Uh, for this assignment, I want you to name it with that company name you come up with. So mine was Timeless Cosplay and then the banner size. So after that underscore, 
give me the size of, of the banner. And then you have your file format, which for this is .png. So when you do this, I want you to upload three, um, well, it's uploading a bunch of stuff. So you're going to upload your four banners separately as PNG files. And then you're going to upload a screenshot of that whole web page, like you did with the historical web pages. Then I want your code, like you did before, you just sent me the code. And then I want you to take a screenshot of the directory structure. So this is really important when we start to talk about web development. And this directory structure lets the image tag know where to find the images. So when you create this project, you're going to have one folder and that folder is going to contain everything for the project. And in, inside that folder, you're going to have an index.html file. And then your banners are going to go inside a folder called images. And this is the directory structure that you want to utilize for all your projects going forth. You always have your index.html and that's your home page. So that's always all by itself in the folder. And then in that folder that the index.html is in is another folder that contains your images. And then as you work on your other projects, you may have another folder called scripts. You'll, you'll definitely have a folder called styles for style sheets. Sometimes you'll have a folder for other types of media for your videos. Um, and you could even have a folder for fonts if you're using um, web-based fonts. But this is very, very important. So this is actually part of the grade, having you understand what that structure is. And actually, um, if you look at the vi videos for this assignment, one of the videos is focused on just that, creating that directory structure. So it's video, um, this last video here, organizing images for the web design process. So that goes through that. So that's a very important video to watch. Um, but I can go through it with you as well. This first video goes through the assignment and talks about basic workflows for creating your banners. So there's going to be like, like many different ways that you can create banners based on your mood board. And I have one of them here in this video. And then this second video is important because for this project, I want you to use brackets. So you're no longer using that text editor. The text editor was the very first thing to get you used to using a text editor, but it's not necessary anymore. So for this project, you'll be using brackets and that's a free download. Um, you just go to uh, brackets. Um, dot io so i'll take you there real quick and if you've never used what's called an ide which stands for integrated development environment um actually i had a quick question yes was there a naming convention for this assignment because if so i need to go back and resubmit my files no not for the not for the mood boards okay awesome just no not for that one going forth, there will be naming conventions. Um, Cause I didn't want to get that far into it with the mood board assignment. I just wanted you to focus on the mood boards. Um, but now, yeah, there will be. So, and the mood boards aren't being used on a web page anyway. So it's okay to name them mood board one, mood board two, that's fine. Um, so here's brackets. So download brackets, it's free. It's uh, an Adobe product. So, you know, everybody should have access to it, no problem. Um, one of the questions people will have is, well, can I use something different? And yeah, that's fine. So I know that other people in the class may already be used to using um, these integrated developer, developer environments. So if you want to use your own, that's no problem. There's um, Visual Studio, there's Atom, there's a bunch of them out there. So whatever is your preference. Um, there's Sublime, that's another one. But brackets is really easy, it's really simple. 